Today at Lofty Pursuits, we're going to be making candy with Joran and with Greg. It's sugar. Well, we just put a uh, we just put our sugar out on the candy cooling table. The sugar is 310 degrees to start with, so we're starting with some very hot sugar here. And we're going to be making today some blackberry candy. We're going to do it in a fun shape. Uh, we've decided to do some wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey candy. In other words, we're going to do the TARDIS. We're going to start with blue food coloring. Oh yeah, you can smell it. Now, if you'll notice, when I start stirring this, see how the coloring starts bubbling? That's because the food coloring has water in it, and a lot of it. It's cooking the water out, exactly. And we want the water to get out of it, so it'll be sticky. The rest of this may be a liquid, but it's not a uh, liquid of liquid water, it's a liquid of liquid sugar. And this table here, its entire purpose is to cut, take the temperature down and bring the sugar to uh, a lower temperature where it becomes the consistency of clay or silly putty. So we can start working it. The, it didn't have any color in it, it's just a natural color sugar. Now, what holds it? This table is 2,000 pounds of steel with a water cooling system on the inside. Oh. So it's a giant heat sink. It's, uh, it's blackberry flavored candy, and it's going to each have a picture of a TARDIS in each one, a British police box. So uh, take a look at this, folks. What do you think this is? Do you have an idea what it is? Well, it's not sugar because we have pure sugar on the table. It would be silly to add sugar to sugar. Actually, it would cause a problem. We'd add seed crystals, and it would crystallize. This is citric acid. Fruits have citric acid in it, and we don't have any citric acids in the... Uh, in the candy yet, so we have to re-add it. The outside's pretty solid, but the inside is still liquid. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna separate the two. Oh, I'm sorry. So the first thing we have to do is cut our color palette apart. You'll notice the outside may be cool, but the inside is still well over 280 to 300 degrees. And what our goal here is, is to fold it on this table that it all evens out to be the same temperature. You making beautiful candy? Doctor. Hi. Hi. I'm Doctor. Who. <laughs> she did the bonus. Oh my God. So if you'll take a look. If you take a look, this candy, the white part of the candy, isn't very white, is it? Now, what do you think she's doing up here? Adding air, exactly. She's aerating it by folding the half. This is, this is traditional candy pulling on a traditional candy pulling hook. And what she's doing is she's going to do uh, fold it over, and every time she folds it over, she's trapping millions of air bubbles in there, which is kind of cool. They'll each act like a little mirror. Sort of like the top of a breaking wave. You know, it's white, but the ocean isn't white, and those little air bubbles make it look white. The same color as her hair. Right, we're matching at this point. We've got to get it all the way white, and that's going to take about 75 pulls. And 75 pulls is a lot. This thing's a heavy piece of candy. She's working 10 or more pounds of candy up and down. And this is actually one of the cool things here at Lofty Pursuits in Public Displays of Confection. We charge them to do the pulling because it doubles as a health club. <laughs> now, like I said, we need 75 pulls, so let's start counting. One. <laughs> two. I think we should start over. <laughs> okay, we can start over. One. <laughs> two. But look at the nature of it. It's already gotten to a point where it's no longer transparent. Here you go. So today we're doing Doctor Who candy. We're going to do a TARDIS. And uh, we're going to need a couple of different colors for this, just blue and white. And 
We're going to be doing an opaque blue for the body of the TARDIS. We're going to outline it in a clear blue. Getting a pretty even shade. Now these little swirls aren't going to make any difference. Once we make the candy down to the size we're going to make it, it's going to be invisible. That's perfect, Joran. What do you think? That's good blue. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice cool square for the square window of the TARDIS. One of the neat things about candy is candy multiplies. What I mean by this is that I can make more than one section quickly by duplicating it by stretching. You pull that very evenly, Jordan. One, two. For the body of the TARDIS. See how the candy stretches so nicely? This is one of the cool things about sugar. It behaves like molten glass. And that means we're going to be able to duplicate everything we do and make carbon copies. So what I'm doing now is I just made the center line for the door down the center. The window's at the top. I need an outline for the right and left. With a little white on the outside, which is exactly what I'm doing here. We're going to have to do the top of the TARDIS. How many stripes of these do you want? <laughs> How many do you think you can get that are going to be a width that we can use? Two, four, three. No, but he said that they were making the Got it wrapped in its white. Can you put that right off the line right there when I come back around to you? I actually like how the stripes came out. Yeah. They're what? Like a pretty Yeah. So what do you folks think? Give it a look, a taste.